Hey, everybody that's joining us right now for our March Madness Clear Touch Collage session. Welcome. For those of you that are going to be watching this recorded, welcome to you too. If you're here live, I have pinned a chat message over in the right giving you the link to the Collage app for a Chromebook. When I send this recording out to those of you that are watching it recorded, I will include that link to it. So let's get rolling because we only really have 10 minutes. So right now I have my clear touch screen up on the, uh, uh, the meet here that you can see. We're going to take a look at this from two places. We're going to look at collage on the clear touch panel side, and then I'm going to take you through the steps on how to set it up on the um, Chromebook side when I cast my Chromebook screen, and you'll be able to see that as well. So let's start with the collage side here on the panel. So collage is a um, embedded app. In other words, it's right here, both up on the top of the um, panel and on the side. So I'm going to tap on the collage app and that's going to open up a code. So the big code that's in the middle is also the same one that's at the top. Now you might be getting an update screen that pops up. Um, you can just tap out of that and retap on collage. Sometimes we have to update these over spring breaks or or um, summer breaks or Christmas breaks. So we know about the updates when they have to be done. So let's take a look at that little carrot that's way up at the top of the clear touch panel that says, you know, Q9R for aw Where does that come from? So we're going to go in the menu here and I'm going to show you some settings here. So there are some things you want to know when you're setting this up. Um, the defaults are allow this device to be discovered. That is off. That's the top one there. We want to have that off. Uh, we have permission mode on. Um, and anyone trying to share their screen with you will, will be given a like almost like a waiting for an acceptance message. You're going to see that. I'll show that to you. So you want to leave that on. Uh, let's leave off Chromecast because we don't have those. We don't have AirPlay devices right now, Miracast. We're going to leave those off too. Um, there is a unique device name that goes along with this. Um, start automatically on boot. So that's something that you might want to change. Now, if you don't like the little carrot that's hanging around at the top of the screen, you can turn that off by simply going like that. So then when the panel turns on, it won't be there. You'll have to use the app to open it up. Um, you also can, the code does refresh every 10 minutes. So if we were on this for 20 minutes, it would refresh, refresh twice to a new code. You can change that to 10, 20, 30, 60, or never have it refresh. Make it the same code all the time. Floating window size. So you can see that the code is up there, but I can change that. It's a normal size right now. I can make it a mini size. So keep your eyes on the top of the screen and you'll see that it kind of takes that code away and becomes just this carrot that you can move all around the screen. It is movable, that carrot, if it gets in your way. You can also have close. You can not have the carrot at all if you want. You can still get to it through the app um, on the main screen. We're going to leave it at the normal size because we're. In, I'm right now I'm in K-12 in the high school, so uh, this is something people might want to use to cast. And then these down here, just leave those things on, and I'm just going to tap on the screen, and that will go away. So let's bring that code up again. Um, that's the one if you're having students cast. They can cast to this. You can cast up to four Chromebooks at once to this. Um, if you have multiple devices that are not Chromebooks in that, you can cast up to nine. No more than four Chromebooks, but you can cast up to nine things to the screen. They haven't made a change in that yet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the casting on the um, – Chromebook side. So I'm going to switch inputs here and you're going to see that come up on the screen in a moment. There's my input. I'm going to move over to HDMI one and I'm going to get rid of my, don't want to get that crazy screen. So you'll see the collage web store uh, thing come up. Um, and that's what you should be seeing is the Chromebook screen that is up there. Let me make sure that it's there. It is. So now I'm going to show you how it works. So down at the bottom of the screen, you shall see a collage button. So I'm going to tap on that. I want to make sure that you're still seeing this so we don't have any technical difficulties. You are, so that's good. So I'm going to tap on that. And what's going to come up is the place where I'm going to put in the code. Now I'm looking at my screen right now, and I'm going to put in that Q9R for a W and you'll see that pop up and I'm going to hit start mirroring. So I'm going to hit start mirroring. Now this is the part where some people fall down here. Um, you can share your system audio. In other words, allow the Chromebook to broadcast the audio from the Chromebook right through your panel. That's kind of neat. 
Um, and you might see the share button grayed out. And I get a lot of people that use this ask me, well, like, why is it grayed out? Like, I want to use it. I want to use it. Like, well, you have to select the screen. You could have multiple screens here. So I'm going to tap on this one and I'm going to hit share. Now, you'll see up on the screen a accept. I'm going to tap that accept. And then it's going to spin a little bit. Sometimes it takes two times to do it. It's going to let me know that I'm sharing my screen. And now I am sharing my screen. So now I'm I'm going to be up on the uh, clear touch panel with my screen being shared um, up there. Oops, on the wrong thing. I do not have touch capability up at the panel. I don't have any of that. Uh, but if I do tap on the panel, you will see a couple buttons pop up at the bottom left. And I'm really hoping that you can see them. A power button, a picture and picture button, and a volume button. So I'm going to tap on that picture and picture button. And you're going to see this kind of shrink. Sometimes it doesn't always work real well. Um, actually giving me a hard time today. Let's try that again. Cord might not be doing something really nice. So there's a picture in the picture. I can move this around, but I'm going to go over to Android to show you that. Let's see if I got anything in the chat. I don't. So I'm going to go over to Android to show you that a little bit. Now, you see when I went Android, you can see it a lot better here, the picture in the picture that's popped up here. I have my uh, screen casted to the Chromebook, um, and I can move it around if I like, which is kind of neat. That's a neat thing. If I want to end the casting, I can simply tap on it, and the power button will come up in the bottom right or bottom left, and I can hit it, and the casting will stop. So that's a neat little thing that you can do with um, casting to your clear touch panel. Now, one other little note here that I want to add, so our time is limited. I want to bring up the, I'm going to cast my Chromebook again to this. So give me one moment here while I hit the input. That's not what I wanted to do. A lot of buttons on this remote here and we're live. So, okay, I'm going to hit that. I don't want to bring up my drive. You don't want to see that. You want to see this. This is what I want to show you. Um, I want to show you that if there are district iPads out there, you're able to cast them. Very similar. You're going to get the collage app from the App Store. Um, if it's not on there, most of them will have them. You can put in a help ticket to get it put on there. You're going to tap collage and then the screen mirroring button that I'm hovering my cursor over right now, that's what you're going to hit to make the screen mirror happen. Personal devices and phones and that cannot be casted to the clear touch panels because they do not have access to the network that we have. So only district owned devices can do that. Um, if you have a, for some reason, a Microsoft or a Windows laptop that's district assigned or a MacBook that's district assigned, you can also cast those to the panel as well. Great thing about Windows and Apple laptops is that you can have touch capability with those. So that's kind of nice. So let me go back to the Android side. Let's pop that back on. We're going to close this out. And that will just about do it for our clear touch collage. Now, the last thing I usually say in the minute or two left, like where are the uses for this? So I'm going to use my pen. I'm going to be moving away from my Chromebook if my voice changes here. And I just want to write a couple uses, uses for this so that you can see. So I'm going to list like the conference rooms. If you're meeting with a bunch of people and you don't want to use the PC in the conference room, you can just project your Chromebook and do your meeting just like that. Um, your classroom. Obviously, if you have students, they can use the Collage app and cast up to four screens so you can cast what they're doing with students. So I'm going to add with students here. That's a great feature of this uh, Collage. So why not try that? Okay. Any type of meetings you have. In any room that has a clear touch panel, could be a department meeting, could it be a meeting with parents. You have a Chromebook, you can cast it, okay? But my favorite one, tutorials. You're doing something on your device that you wanna show to someone else who has a similar device. One of the hardest things about projecting a Windows PC to the clear touch, even though it looks really good, the kids don't have the same devices as that. So by projecting your Chromebook, and navigating through apps or YouTube or organizing the shelf. If you have younger students teaching them how to organize the Chromebook, this is a really neat thing. And it makes everything that is done very, very authentic. You see it live and in action. So that's something that's definitely worthwhile when you're doing this sort of thing. 
So there's uh, a quick March Madness 10 minutes on Clear Touch Collage. Again, if you're joining me live, thanks so much. The link is in the chat to get the Collage app. Students can get this one too. And if you're joining me recorded, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions or anything, shoot them out to me and I'll be sure to get back to you in a GIF. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a good afternoon.